All right, uh, Alex. Alex has got one. Performance, performance, performance. Uh, so he cringes thinking about having Dax do all these things, like header yes. titles and custom yes. button nav and all yes. this stuff. Where do you find the balance? Um, really oh small models. God, really small right, models. Yeah, yeah. Only, like, you don't even, you don't even 5,000 rows or so, right? Like, anything after that is just icing on a cake. Um, I, this is actually, like, big this data. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I think the conditional formatting question here comes um, is, is a natural evolution of the, the tooltips question. Like, you know, I, I've seen a lot of people with slow reports and like the model's not that big. Yeah, but every visual you have like 10 tooltips in each visual and like think about how many measures are being calculated on the page. Like, yeah, just because you have to have it doesn't mean you should. You don't have to conditionally format everything. So, yep. you know, does it does it align to the business requirements and is it needed or is it a, like, is it a need or a want? And you know, answer the needs first, then add your wants if you still have, um, you know, performance room left in that you know performance glass that you're trying to fill. <laughs> oh, Micah's in the house. Oh, Micah. Oh boy. Yes, you sir can only yes. have five thousand rows. You have to work with that. Yep. <laughs> yep. That is actually a limit of the of the product. It can only load up to five thousand. Any more than that, in your your computer will crash. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Um, so the, so it the, is a balance, though. Yeah. I, it is a balance. You got you. I, I talk about this all the time. Every time, you know, you got a million conditional format and millions of two tips. And sometimes we as report developers, we do it because we think it's cool. And the business doesn't even ask for those things, you know. And so I, I the, the one thing I know, we, we know everything that people want because we are in IT. We know everything that our consumers want. Absolutely. I think you got to talk to your consumers. Mm -hmm. And it's a negotiation when they start requesting these things. I mean, you're the you're ultimately responsible for this, right? So you need to talk to those report consumers and go, all right, look, the report is slow because of all this, all these things that we put on it that you requested. You know, we got to balance it out. So have a conversation yep. with them. Yep. They're okay. They're okay yep. people. They're okay people. I'm actually Mike. really curious. Like I haven't done done this yet from a performance analyst perspective, but let's say you have one one measure that returns red or green, you know, for, for a hex color, depending on a condition. Yeah. If you use that 15 times in the visuals, you know, I, I would assume that the engine, the, um, the VertiPack engine is only calculating it once and then applying it 15 times. But I'm actually wondering what what is the performance impact of one versus 15 versus I 15 think... conditional formats where there's 15 different measures, mm -hmm. which would be, I would think would be if a lot If it's 15 worse. different visuals, I think it's 15 different calls, but I, I haven't tested this either. Depending but on what's cached. Different think... visuals. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll try it. That's I, a good I, one, I, That's I a think good I'm going to make a note of this to actually do, do, do a video on that. I'm you get really a lot curious. of video. Yeah. Yeah, you get a lot of video ideas out of this live <laughs> okay. chat. I won't write that one yeah. down. I won't write that one down. Then I, <laughs> yeah, I want to do this one. This be good. Yeah, 